Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. So this is going to be an all-size reading for you guys. This is the person on your mind. We're going to find out um, how they're feeling about you and their intentions. Please, if anything doesn't resonate, check your other signs. This is general. This is not a personal reading. If you like a personal reading, you can check the description box. I'm open for personal readings. You can email me and get in contact with me via email. And you can follow me on all my social media. Thank you, everybody, for liking the video. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And you can leave love donations as well. I appreciate that. And thank you for everybody who has left love donations that help grow our channel. I hope everybody's well. Let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Only the ones I've called upon are welcome here. Ancestors and spirit guides of love, light, health, and wealth protect me keep me safe i'll say okay so we're gonna do from aries to pisces happy birthday aquarius happy birthday to all the aquarius all right okay this will be 18 plus starting with aries your overall energy is the ace of pentacles so there could be a new person ace of pentacles and nine of pentacles they're single i like this so we have the ace and the nine of pentacles this person is very stable they could have earth in their chart or be a taurus virgo or capricorn okay we have the pair which represents the lovers and then we have the empress so this person whoever they are they're stable and you have a connection with them. You feel the, a strong, deep connection. So their feelings for you is they do like that you're a new option. You're a stable option. They like how independent you are. And they feel a strong connection with you. And they want to grow and expand. All right. The person on Aries' mind. What are their intentions with Aries? Well, we have the world card okay and the ten of cups they want to get married they, excuse me sorry they want a whole new cycle a whole new chapter of love and marriage with you the two of swords they wonder if you see that as well they want to know do you see a future the way i see a future with you because maybe they're just thinking you want to remain independent and single and they like that about you but they're like would they like to be a a husband one day would they like to be a wife one day would they like to be a mother or a father one day all right tell me some freaky things that this person thinks of about aries you make me come over and over again so maybe y'all have already slept together or if y'all do they will be coming over and over again they like that they like you you arouse them i feel like no one can hurt me when i'm with you so they feel like nobody can hurt them when you guys are together when they're with you we do have quickie maybe y'all have quickies this person is like oh i wish i could have some quickies with aries all right give me two more blow job so this person wants to give you a blow job or you want to give them a blow job i masturbate beforehand so i last longer so somebody masturbates before y'all have sex so that they'll last longer maybe this person is worried about being a minute man okay i try not to moan because i'm a man i'm telling you this masculine really is filling you they that's how you are you're the feminine the empress whether you're male or female you're the feminine so we see libra we see taurus scorpio leo aquarius and we see gemini we have earth water and a very little little bit of air. Taurus. All right. The person on Taurus is mind. Tell me about the person on Taurus is mind. Yikes. How? How? Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Give me one second. Sorry, I hope my butt wasn't in the air. 
My car is just literally flu. Okay, the person on Taurus is mine. We have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords. And they kind of look the same. So maybe somebody's telling you the truth and you can't handle it. You're telling somebody the truth and they can't handle it. Also, somebody is could be confusing the truth with something else, spite. Somebody wants to say something out of anger and it's the truth and somebody's like well they need to hear it anyway but it's the it's the way that you're presenting it or vice versa that could have been a side message Taurus or you could be just be confusing the truth with something false or fake make sure you look at the facts all right the person on Taurus is mine okay we have the tower you could be dealing with the Scorpio how do they feel about Taurus there's been some changes, some endings and realizations. The person on Taurus's mind, how do they feel? The Queen of Flowers is the Queen of Swords. With temptation, which rep it represents the devil. Yeah, somebody is very tempted to say something out of anger. Somebody is very tempted to say something out of spite. And it is the truth, but it's going to come out. They're trying to tell you the truth to hurt you out of spite, out of anger, out of malice. Somebody's coming clean. And it's a very reckless, I don't even give a damn type energy. Or maybe that, this is their feeling, so maybe they feel like you do this, Taurus. I don't know. What are their intentions with Taurus? This don't have to be a love person this could be a friend family member a boss this could be an enemy y'all all right their intentions yeah exactly y'all i don't like this we have the three we have the three of wands and the will of fortune okay clarify this person's intentions the three of wands <clears throat> and the will of fortune this looks like the three of swords to me What are their intentions? The Hierophant. With the Six of Swords. So what I'm seeing is somebody is trying to... Okay, this could be simple as somebody wants more attention from you. So somebody's throwing a temper tantrum. Somebody is coming off very mean and malicious. Taurus, you never have enough time for me. You always do this. You don't see me. You never communicate with me. You don't love me. And somebody's just throwing a temper tantrum because they need some affection and attention. That's what I'm seeing. Because you're very committed to work. You're very committed to your job. All right. What's this part? What's the hidden message that this person wants to tell Taurus or feels about Taurus? So this person is spoiled and they just want attention. Yeah, you are so tempting. Somebody wants to tempt you. Your love is intoxicating. I'm surprised like the devil didn't come out. It's a very codependent type of energy. But we do have the queen of swords. Somebody's bitter and upset. Yeah, they're bitter and upset. I miss our sex. This is somebody you are not talking to. Or this is how you feel. You miss the sex. Y'all could be joining together, hanging out, having hotel sex or something. Give me one last message. Or they want to have hotel sex. They miss y'all hotel sex. <sighs> yeah, because either you or them have a magical pussy. And they said, you don't know how crazy I am about you. Okay, somebody is crazy as hell about you. And it could be a cancer. They could have cancer in their chart. Well, we do know how crazy they are about you. Or we do know how crazy you are about them. It's coming out all in the cards. I don't know why I started this reading. Knowing that I'm probably going to fall asleep. So we see Scorpio, Air, Taurus. A lot of air, a little bit of fire, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and we saw cancer. Okay, we are on Gemini. 
All right. The person on Gemini's mind. The person on Gemini's mind. What are their thoughts about Gemini? What are their feelings? Thoughts and feelings about Gemini. The Ace of Cups. They love you. They want a new beginning. This could be somebody that you haven't dated yet. Somebody wants to date you and be your boyfriend or girlfriend. All right. How do they feel? They feel like you're very loving. And then we have the Hermit. Okay. They feel like you could be a little emotional. Ten of Cups. You're getting your, mo your emotions a lot. Clarify this person's feelings towards Gemini. The Ace of Cups and the Hermit. We have the Four of Wands. How this person feels, they want to be in a relationship with you. This Hermit card, they could be a little shy, but they know more than what they lead off. And they are doing more than what you know. They want to be in a relationship. Clarify the Hermit, though. Clarify the Hermit for this person's feelings. They could want to, their feelings is they probably want to get to know more about you. They want to come out of their shell. Seven of Wands, but there are blockages. The Empress. Clarify their intentions with Gemini. Not clarify, just tell me their intentions with Gemini. We have the five of pentacles with the fool they want to take a leap of faith but for some reason they feel like it's blockages they feel like you're either in a relationship already and pushing them away or they could be pushing you away somebody's in a relationship already we have the five of pentacles clarify the five of pentacles for their intentions with gemini yeah we have the two of wands somebody's ignoring the other person we have the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant. So, what's going on is how they feel about you is they feel like you're not ready for a relationship, but they're ready, or vice versa. How they feel about you is you're ready to be in a relationship now, and they're not ready to be in a relationship now. They're going to try to take their time and push you away and fend you off but their intentions as soon as they feel left out in the cold or when you feel left out in the cold somebody's ready for a new beginning and ready for commitment we have temperance it's going to take some time it's going to take peace and balance and patience so give this person some space the only majors that came out is taurus and Sagittarius. Their feelings for you. Also, their feelings for you is as soon as they feel like they're making progress, as soon as they they feel like they're making progress with you and getting closer to you, you shut off or you ghost them or you run away. And their intentions is to just let you be with the Five of Pentacles, just let you do whatever you're doing. Because there's going to be some breakthrough in commun communication eventually. All right. Give me messages from this person. The person on Gemini's mind. All they do is think of you. I'm telling you. We have Gemini. They can have Gemini in their chart. I already know this card. <coughs> I wasn't expecting to land on it. But I know that that's the Gemini card. Because it's ripped. So all they do is think of you. They said they're possessive. They they are possessive over you. You belong to them. So maybe this is why it's like they don't even care if you withdraw. They don't care if y'all are on the outs. They don't care if you push them away because they're possessive over you. They feel like they know that you'll be back. I love how soft your skin feels. They love how soft your skin feels. I need water. And they said, y'all are doing friends with benefits, or this is what they're doing with you, what you're doing with, I don't know. But we have friends with benefits here. 
okay somebody could be getting a full body kisses full body massage that's something you're doing to them what they're doing to you okay somebody's possessive and obsessive over you i obsess over you somebody is somebody need help that's all i can see all they do is think of you so if this is going to be something that's long lasting y'all i see why it's just taking time. It does need to be balanced. So I see a lot of fire. Virgo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus. Uh, okay. The person on Cancer's mind. <laughs> The person on Cancer's mind, what are their feelings and intentions towards Cancer? So the person on Cancer's mind, what are their feelings towards Cancer? Temptation. You tempt them. They tempt you. There's something toxic or they're obsessed. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, they want to put in work and effort into this. Okay, their feelings towards you. Six of Swords. They're moving forward into some clarity. They want to get closer to you is what I what I see. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, just a lot of movement cards, action-oriented cards. The Eight of Pentacles is working on something. The Six of Swords is moving towards that goal of what you're working towards. And the Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? A lot of good things happening here. So they're obsessed over you and they want to get closer to you and they want to know you more. What are their intentions? The person on Cancer's mind, what are their intentions with Cancer? The Three of Cups. I'm telling you, they want to get to know you more. They want to be your friend. And we have the Knight of Cups. They, they want to extend a love offer to you. That's what they want to do. Yeah, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. They want to, ex they want to go out on a date with you. They want to be friends. They want to talk to you. They want to get to know you. They want to ask you certain things. They want to ask you your perspective on certain things. So, I, I like it. They have a big crush on you. They're infatuated with you. A little obsessed, too. The star. You're the star to them. And the queen of flowers is the queen of swords. You're a star to them. They love the way you speak. They love the way you smell. They love... They love a lot of things about you. This person is a little obsessed, infatuated. They have a big crush, okay? Their feelings, they feel like you're very dependable and reliable. They feel like you're very stable. They feel like it's easy. It's just easy with you. They like where things are going. All righty. What does this person think of or have to say? They said, I love when you slob on it. So maybe y'all are already sleeping together. Y'all could be dealing with the Gemini or have Gemini in y'all chart. Gemini could just represent the lovers. Okay, there's a connection here. Okay, we have Libra. This person could have Libra in their chart. They could be a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart. Libra could just represent justice, balancing scales. Okay, they said you have a pretty, a pretty V. And you have a pretty vagina. Okay. All right. Anything else? Ooh, sneaky link. They this person wants the sneaky link with you. Candle magic. This careful because this person could be burning candles. Pull my hair. They like when you pull their hair. Pull their hair. We do have friends with benefits. I knew that was gonna come out. I love the faces you make during sex. So this could be two different types of people. One person is missing y'all sex. Y'all are friends with benefits. So let me tell you a couple of different stories. The friends with benefits person you have, they're obsessed with you. And they're doing candle magic on you. Others of you, this is somebody that has a crush on you. That's it and that's all. Others of you, this could be somebody that y'all have slept with in their obsessed over you take what resonates y'all it's too many could be this could be that okay
But we saw Libra. We saw Gemini. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus. I was going to say Virgo. So you could be dealing with the Virgo, Libra, Leo, Aquarius. Yeah, and we have the star. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay. We're on Leo now. Spirit, the person on Leo's mind. What are their feelings and intentions toward Leo? Okay, the person on Leo's mind. What are their feelings and intentions for Leo? The person on Leo's mind. Tell me this person's intentions toward Leo. And their feelings toward Leo. The person on Leo's mind. What are their uh, feelings toward Leo? Okay, we have judgment here. They want you to forgive them or they want you to move things forward. They want to move things forward together. And then we have the nine of swords. They could be stressed about this. They could be stressed about communication, overthinking over analyzing because they want a relationship with you the four of swords i'm sorry this is the four of wands forgive me we got spears and flowers and stuff so this is the four of wands here they want to be in a relationship we have the queen of swords you could be dealing with a gemini libra or an aquarius clarify this person's feeling toward leo they could feel like you want to renew of uh, love with them No, I feel like you might want to be single. We have the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. You probably want to. But I wasn't ready. So, clarify this person's feelings towards Leo. The hair thing could be a Taurus. They want to be in a relationship with you. All right. Tell me a little bit more about this person's feelings toward Leo. The Ten of Cups, they want to be in a relationship. They want to be in a relationship. I don't know why they're stressed. You could be pushing them away. Maybe you friend zone them, but they want a chance with you. They want another chance with judge with the judgment card. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, they love you. They want another chance with you. The Tower, it could be with the Scorpio. There's a change coming here, so expect change. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Okay, sorry. That old wine bottle right here. I just needed to spit. Okay. Clarify this. Uh, tell me about this person's intentions with Leo. We have the Nine of Cups. They want to give you wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment. All right. Tell me more about this person's intentions with Leo. We have the Ace of Swords. Their intentions is to come and make you happy. Tell you the truth. Bring forth new communication. Cut out old ways of doing and thinking and speaking. And bring happiness. We have a Two of Swords. They're just wondering if you will accept. It could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Anything else? Tell me more about this person's intentions with Leo. We have the two of pentacles and temperance. So they're going to be patient. We have justice. We have a lot of twos. Temperance represents moderation, balancing, Justice represents moderation, balancing. The Two of Pentacles represents balancing. What's all this balancing energy about with their intentions? They want to be fair. They want to be balanced. 
They want equal give and take. I wouldn't be surprised if the Six of Pentacles came out as well. We have the Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands about? With the Page of Pentacles. They're, they, I feel like they are going to really try and fight for this and not give up on this with the Star. They do really like you. But there could be fears here with the moon needing to listen to your intuition. The page of cups. This person has a really big crush on you, but maybe they're hiding it. They don't know how you feel about it. They don't know if you'd accept. They just don't know. The moon is a very unknown card. They just don't know. All right. What's this person's next action? Let me see. I'm going to split the deck. For this person's next actions the magician and the two of cups their next actions is to tell you they love you they're manifesting a relationship with you the queen of cups okay we see gemini here all right we also see pisces could be a pisces pisces represents the the moon but also the high priestess I know you, oh, okay, give me one second. I like when you cream on my D, okay? So they like when you cream on it. Maybe y'all have already had sex. Maybe they don't know that you do that. Or maybe you like doing that to them, okay? I know you like freaking me. I can tell by the way that you're in love with me. So somebody's like, I know you like sleeping with me. I can tell you, I can tell them by the way that you're in love with me, okay? Okay. the card i stare at you when i'm deep in it so this person is staring at you when they're out deep in it somebody can have a big d or a tight p okay i want okay somebody said they want to put their tongue in it or you want to put your tongue in it you could be dealing with the virgo the virgo could represent the hermit introspection okay figuring some things out anything else Somebody said, I miss you. They said they miss you. Could be a Gemini. Gemini could represent uh, the, the magician manifesting, which we already seen. The magician could represent the lovers as well. So there's a connection that you felt at one point in time with this person or this person feels a connection with you. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Pisces. A lot of Cancer and Pisces. We see Aquarius as well. Um, Sagittarius or anybody. Could literally be anybody. Or Libra, also Libra or Aquarius. Virgo. The person on Virgo's mind, what are their feelings and intentions toward Virgo? I'm going to hurry this up. All right. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> the overall energy. Transformation, which is the death card, represents endings, represents new beginnings. Overall energy, a lot of change. Sorry. Overall energy, a lot of change. So what's this person's feelings towards Virgo? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe they feel like they want to invest or maybe they feel like you want to invest. Tell me more about this person's feelings. The Magician. This person feels like they've taken a lot of time to manifest something with you. The Page of Pentacles, an offer, a relationship, a job, some form of stability, a lot of earth energy. All right, we do have the lovers. It could be a Gemini, somebody you have a strong connection with. So their feelings towards you is they feel like you're worth the investment. They're, you're worth the time and effort. Their intentions. The Six of Cups, they love you. They want a relationship with you. They want to rekindle things with you. We have the Ace of Wands. 
uh yeah this person misses you they miss y'all sex or they want to talk they want to start a new chapter with you if i could speak right we have the three of swords they want to mend and heal they feel like you hurt about this or they feel like you hurt them and they want healing they want to talk things out and work things out in the new start so overall energy was an ending transformation okay tell me uh more about uh virgo's person but tell me more about virgo's person all right they said i need an outlet they say you turn me on you are so sexy and they want you to tell tell them that it's theirs. This could all be vice versa. <clears throat> Can't get the card out. Whoa, they said finger me while you eat it. They like when you do that or you like when they do it. They want you to do it. If y'all ain't never had sex before, these are new things that they want to do. Because they fantasize about you. Okay? You are their fantasy. They like when you're face down, ass up, or they want to do that to you. You want to do that to them. I love when you say please and thank you. Okay. So, the only majors that came out was Scorpio and Gemini. But we got Earth, Fire, and Water. Libra, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I'm getting sleepy. My throat is dry. Libra, the person on Libra's mind. What are their feelings and intentions toward Libra? we have the nine of swords they're stressed about you they're overthinking a lot about you sorry y'all okay their feelings towards you we have the six of swords they feel like you moved on or you walked away they feel like ten of pentacles The wheel of fortune. So their feelings towards you is they feel like it's easy for you to detach. They feel like you're at a distance. They feel like you are far away. They feel like you're doing your own thing and having fun. They feel like they're not a part of your happiness. They're not a part of what you have going on in life. They're separated from you in some type of way. We have the nine of swords here. Their overall energy you guys are stressing about each other or overthinking about each other. Alright, what is this person's intentions toward Libra? The person on Libra's mind, what are their intentions with Libra? We have the Ten of Swords. Judgment. They're going to ask for forgiveness the world so their intentions towards you is hold on justice their intentions with you is to make something fair or make something balanced but for some of you libra i feel like this person might be trying to get their leg back because they feel like it's fair because they feel like it's the right thing for them to do because you left them lonely because you decided to be a better person. Because you try decided to do better for yourself. And they're stuck with having to heal themselves. Become a better person for themselves. And their intentions could be trying to get back together with you. Because they see how balanced you are. But they could be trying to get their leg back. 
Now, for, that's not going to resonate with everybody, but the rest of you, this person is going to ask you for forgiveness so that they can move forward. This person is going to tell you that they're sorry. Their intentions is to tell you that they're truly sorry. They're overthinking this apology. They're overthinking. So, yeah, the person on your mind, they want to apologize and make things fair. All right. Messages about the person on Libra's mind. Wow, so we have intentional pregnancy or abortion. You guys be careful. They said they come fast when you choke them or you come fast when they choke you. It could be an Aries in the mix here. You could have Aries in your chart or they have Aries in their chart. Somebody could be uncircumcised or you are. They said they like when you cream on their D. Or you like when they do it to you. I'm in love with someone else. You're in love with someone else. They're in love with someone else. It could be a Gemini involved as well. Aries could represent the emperor and taking back control of your life, which I see you have, Libra. Gemini could represent the lovers or the magician manifesting, okay? All right. So the signs that we saw was Aries, Gemini, we saw Libra. You came out in your own reading, Libra. We see Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Sagittarius as well. Let's move on to Scorpio. All right, the person on Scorpio's mind. Their feelings and intentions towards Scorpio. Scorpio, y'all could be dealing with the Virgo. Alright. The person on Scorpio's mind. Their feelings and intentions towards Scorpio. Overall energy. We have the Eight of Cups. So the overall energy is you walked away from them, they walked away from you. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Eight of Cups. And then we actually have the Eight of Swords as well. So you're both stuck in your head about this ending. You're both stuck in your head about an ending that is coming. All right, you could be dealing with the Leo or a Leo is on your mind heavy. Somebody that walked away from you, you're trying to have the strength to move forward. Their feelings toward you. The Ace of Swords, they want to talk. They want to communicate. And they want to manifest the new beginning with you with the Magician. It could be a Gemini. Page of Cups, because they still have feelings for you. So, their feelings for you is, they want to communicate. They still want to talk to you. They still want forward movement here. They want to be in a relationship. They do have a crush on you. That's their feelings. They still like you even though you walked away or even though they walked away. What are their intentions with Scorpio? We have the Queen of Wands. They're going to come and tell you something. The Queen of Wands. Do you see this card? It, this card kind of Fs me up because it's like the Queen of Wands is usually a sexy, passionate type of energy but this queen of wands is very feisty and fiery like no nah, you can't tell me what to do i'm bigger than that i'm more important than that so their intentions is to i guess remind you or show you why you should give them another chance or tell you like no nah, you need to give me another chance <sighs> strength yeah exactly it could be a leo like this person could be enticing you this person could be really telling you and showing you this person is willing to put in a lot of effort to prove to you or to show you or to get you to realize, like, I'm a good option. I'm a great option. Five, six, seven, eight. We have the Eight of Swords coming out again because they can't stop thinking about you. You're on their mind a lot.
clarify their intentions. The Queen of Wands. I hear all eyes on me. The number eight could be very important for you because we have the strength represents eight. We have the Eight of Swords, and then we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to be in a relationship with you. They'll put in the effort, the Two of Cups. Their intentions is to be in a relationship. That's it. That's it, and that's all. Their intentions is to show you some a sign. <clears throat> excuse me. Give you a sign, give you an indication, really express and tell you and show you they want to be in a relationship. Eight could be very important. We have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Swords strength is the number eight. We have a lot of eights here. Okay. So their feelings is they still have feelings for you. They want to manifest a new beginning with you. And their intentions is to do just that. They'll put in the work. This is an action-oriented type of person. All right. They said wet my beard or you want them to wet your beard they want you to wet their beard or they want to wet your beard <laughs> they said you love this pussy you do you do yeah that's what they said and then they said you make me feel so sexy they want you to kiss on their breasts or suck on their breasts they like that somebody okay I'm not gonna I didn't feel connected with that so I secretly want to get you pregnant or I secretly want to get pregnant. Tell me more. Give me two more, please. Two more. All right. They said it's the booty for me, big or small. So they love your butt or you love their butt. And then they said, I want to be yours. They want to be yours. And you are so tempting. So you tempt them, they tempt you. But that's exactly what this person is doing. They're going to tempt you because they're like, Scorpio, give me another chance. I'll tell you exactly why. And they're like, I'm right. I know I'm right about this. Oh, I keep chopping hard. I'm I really hope my booty is not in the air when I try to get these cards. I can't tell and I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Who Who is this we did? Scorpio. So I see water, air, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a lot of water. We see Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. We're on Sagittarius now. The, the person on Sagittarius is mine. All right. All right. The person on Sagittarius is mine. What are their feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius? Overall energy. We have justice here. So things are being made very balanced. And then we have the King of Cups. So a lot of healthy emotional um give and take with this sagittarius very beautiful things are balanced the personal sagittarius is mine what are their feelings towards sagittarius ten of pentacles they want to be in a relationship or they want to be married they want to move to a higher level of commitment with you with the three of cups and they want to celebrate temperance all they do is think of you their feelings towards you is you're very stable okay you're very fun to be around and you're balanced the knight of cups they want a relationship with you they want to be in love is what i see they do want to be in love with you all right they're they're um how's their feelings now let's see their intentions. What's this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? 
the person on Sagittarius is mine. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? We have the Eight of Wands, a lot of communication, travel, and passion. And then we have strength here. They can have Leo in their chart. You can have Leo in your chart. Then we have the High Priestess. So what I'm seeing is, okay, this is weird. Because their intentions with you is a lot of communication for movement, travel, passion. But then things go silent. And things don't move forward with strength of holding back. And then the High Priestess. Clarify their intentions. have the king of swords and then the four of cups the king of swords four of cups somebody gets in their head a lot and somebody overthinks to the point where this person can't make up their mind and they wind up rejecting the offer which is weird because their feelings towards you is they feel like you're very stable they feel like you're very loving they like being around you they enjoy your company with the three of cups and they feel like you're very balanced maybe they feel like you take too much time with temperance or maybe this person This person, two of swords, five of wands with the lovers. Maybe this person likes is into polygamy or they like multiple people, multiple options. Whatever this is, this person with the king of swords, they hold back. Their intentions is to hold back. With, which is weird with the eight of wands so maybe there's a miscommunication here with the eight of wands this is confusing okay we have the two of cups they love you there's love here with judgment this is somebody from your past Eight of Swords. We have eight. Eight could be important here for you. This is so strange. We have the two, three, and four of cups. Two, three, four of cups. And this person. Clarify. The Tower. It could be a Scorpio. They like chaos. The Three of Wands. They, they for some reason... It's being balanced and healed and high vibrational and positive. That's not how this person operates. It's not. It's so weird. Their intentions is to hold back. There's a possible intentional miscommunication here with the Eight of Wands. So what I'm seeing is they like everything about you, but they just need to have the upper hand with strength. They're holding back on purpose and the high priest is using their intuition to strategize and shit. They, they, they need to have the upper hand. They need it. They thrive on just one upping people. I saw the king of swords and then I saw the queen of swords as well i should have pulled her out but it's fine so basically i saw a pair i saw a match there's the king of swords which is them and the queen of swords which is you so you both are very strategic you both strategize you both do like having the upper hand on each other So what I'm seeing is maybe last time was your turn to have the upper hand. Now it's their, now it's this person's turn because they get they it's their chance to have the upper hand now. I don't know. Don't make sense. 
All right. Wow, this person says, I just want a fling. They said, I just want a fling. Okay, you can have a starburst pussy or they have a starburst pussy. Um, you said you just want a fling. Okay, we got super head here. Somebody loves giving head or loves receiving head. And we do have intentional pregnancy, intentional abortion. Be careful. Face down, ass up. They like that. Or you like that. So I do see y'all do have a lot of sex. But when it comes to like their relationship and emotional type of stuff, it's a lot of conflict and immaturity. And they said, I did it on purpose so we can have makeup sex. Exactly. They intentionally did this on purpose so that they can have the upper hand and so y'all can have makeup sex. How would you how would you feel if I told you I think I'm in love? This is ass backwards and weird as, as hell. How would you feel if I told you I think I'm in love? I ghost you because your sex makes me crazy. You are so tempting. So we got a lot of people tempting each other. So you could be dealing with any sign. We saw every sign out. Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio, Leo. We saw every sign. We saw Pisces as well. Come on, Capricorn. The person on Capricorn's mind. There are feelings and intentions toward Capricorn. All right, the person on Capricorn's mind. So we have judgment wanting to come out. So their feelings and intentions is they want forgiveness we have the emperor you could be dealing with an aries with the, with the queen uh with the king of wands it's a fire sign sun moon rising or venus all right overall energy the devil we have temptation so somebody wants to either reconcile or somebody is proposing an offer or an idea and you might be tempted to go for it. We have the emperor in judgment. The emperor just did anything that the queen said to do from the movie. So maybe you might just say yes just because. Or them. All right. This person's feelings. The person on Capricorn's mind, their feelings for you, Capricorn, King of Wands, they feel like you're very, very sexy. Page of Wands. And they like talking to you. They like communicating with the Two of Cups. This person is in love with you. They feel like you guys are a vibrational match. Okay? You're very sexy. You got, They feel like you guys are compatible. If y'all have already had sex, they like having sex with you. The Four of Wands. And they feel like you two could be in a really nice relationship. Okay, overall energy could be that they're obsessed over you. What are their intentions? The person on Capricorn's mind, what are their intentions with Capricorn? We have the world card here. There's some type of cycle here that's closing. They want to move into a, either a higher level of commitment let's see what this is about we have the five of pinnacles they want to get out of the cycle of feeling left out in the cold the star they want to heal they want love they want to renew this with you we have the seven of cups they wonder if you'll choose them or you're wondering if they'll choose you there's confusion here so it's weird because this person's in feelings towards you is they do love you. They like, so wow. So this could be somebody, this is what I'm getting and this is what I'm going to stick with. There's somebody who knows that you're in a relationship, but they're going to try to push up on you anyway with the temptation with the devil card. They're attracted to you because they see how good of a wife you are. They're attracted to you because they see how good of a husband you are. And that's what makes them attracted to you. 
and this person wants to be your side chick or this person wants to be your side dude because with the world card they know that it ain't it can't go nowhere with the five of pentacles their intentions is to try to get you to open up to them but you have somebody already excuse me lord have mercy my throat my throat is just so that's the story i'm getting for the rest of you what i'm seeing is there's somebody who's obsessed with you take whatever resonates but there is someone obsessed with you or infatuated with you it could be vice versa cross watchers so just quit the road somebody's infatuated with someone But for some of you Capricorn, remember this, the energy I was getting, somebody might just say yes just because. Somebody might just say yes just to say yes. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, okay? Sure. So I see Aries. Yeah, Aries is a married guy. Somebody's married with judgment. So maybe you could be getting back together with your husband, wife, or wife. You could be getting back together with your baby mom or baby dad, whatever. We see Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, or any fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. All right. So somebody says, I love how soft your skin feels. You could love how soft their skin feels. Somebody likes doing anal. Somebody likes the back door. Somebody says that they miss y'all sex. You could miss you guys as sex. Somebody is wrapped around your finger as well. And they said no one else can have you at all. I'm wrapped around your finger and nobody else can have you. That's it and that's all. Could be a Gemini. All right, Aquarius. All right, the person on Aquarius is mine. What are their feelings and intentions toward Aquarius? on Aquarius is mine. What are their feelings and intentions toward Aquarius? I hear a lot of movies. So y'all could be watching a lot of movies right now, Aquarius, or your person is. Maybe y'all are going to the movies. Y'all are always having a movie date or something like that. All right. Overall energy, we have the seven of cups. So a lot of um, options. Maybe you're choosing something, deciding on something or someone. Could be a little confusion. All right, what's this person's feelings and intentions towards Aquarius? We have the Four of Pentacles. The Magician could be a Gemini. The nine of swords so somebody can't get you off their mind somebody is constantly overthinking about you the ten of cups because they love you they want to be in a relationship with you this could be somebody you have kids with or you are supposed to have kids with there's somebody that just won't let you go the seven of wands but you block them or they block you. So this person's feelings towards you, how they feel about you is they feel like you haven't let them go. You still want a relationship with them. You can't stop thinking about them. You want to be married with them. That's their feelings towards you. This is how they view you. 
All right. Clarify this person's feelings towards Aquarius. The sun. It could be a Leo. This person feels like you feel like they're everything to you. I'm seeing a very cocky type of energy. This person thinks that they're just the shit and that they mean everything to you. They're, they're your sunshine. Okay. What's this person's? Okay, we got the feelings. What are their intentions with Aquarius? We have the Knight of Pentacles. They're not moving anything in a super fast pace. They don't have any rush on anything. The Five of Swords to play mind games. And the Ten of Wands to make things hard on you. That's their feelings and intentions. This person feels like they can do whatever they want to do. They can have their options. The Seven of Cups is the overall energy. They feel like they can have their options. They feel like they can have their cake and eat it too. They feel like they can entertain and talk to multiple people and not have to commit to you because they, their feelings for you is they feel like you're, they feel like you, you love them so much to the point to where they can do whatever they want to do because they know you want to be with them and they know that they're your sunshine. They know that you're, that they're your world or whatever. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. And their intentions, I'm telling you, is to not move things forward. The Knight of Pentacles. And play mind games with the Five of Swords and make things hard on you. And be burdensome with the Ten of Wands. Temperance. This person, no, this person likes making you wait on them. three of swords i don't like this this is somebody who's broken your heart and they will continue to do it the six of cups is somebody from your past so this is some and it don't even have to be somebody from your past we have aquarius it could be you doing this to yourself okay but you continuously getting with people who act like this towards you or aquarius could represent the star you need some healing aquarius it don't have to be somebody from your past. It could be any anybody who's treating you like this. That's who it is. Don't be asking me what sign is it. If I say Capricorn and your person's not a Capricorn, y'all last will be the, the ones to be like, well, it's not my person, even though that person is specifically doing it to you. Just because I didn't say their sign, you feel like it's not your reading, even though this is exactly what's happening. And I'm not saying this towards Aquarius. I'm saying this to all the people who do that shit. What's the point of, what's the point of that shit? I'm literally saying something that's happening in your life. And because I don't say the sign, you're like, oh, it can't be it because it's not the sign. That would, How does that really sound to you? That don't make sense now, but it's whatever. That's, I'm not trying to pinpoint you Aquarius. I'm just on a, I'm just on my soapbox, y'all. But I really do want y'all to pay attention to the energy. Just because it may not be the sign that I say, don't mean that that's not the energy. So, run and tell a friend. So, <laughs> whoever needs to hear that. I'm just saying. Okay, you love this pussy. Hotel sex. Yeah, this person is like, you love me. You love this. You... You'll do whatever I want you to do because you love this. You, you, I can do whatever I want to do to you. I can do whatever I want to do because I feel like you're just so in love and so infatuated. All right. So all right. for others of you who don't have no negative ass message like this, the person on your mind, it's just too hard to be with them. They may not have bad intentions towards you, but it's just too hard to be with this person. Y'all both could be good people, but it just is too hard. All right, we got the Seven of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo's the only major that came out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, yeah, and Gemini. Um, Sagittarius, Aries, a lot of air, a little bit of earth. 
Come on, Pisces. Pisces. Because <clears throat> my throat, my voice. All right, Pisces. Why do I hear I make a juice box wet? That could have been for Aquarius or Pisces, but dang. I make a juice box wet. Wet. I need my dang. I need some water or something for my dry throat. Okay. All right. The person on Pisces' mind, their uh, feelings and intentions toward Pisces, please. Overall energy. We have the five of wands. Could be some arguing, drama, or some chaos. The person on Pisces' mind. Their feelings for Pisces. We have the page of pentacles. They do probably want to offer an apology. They want to offer some form of stability or some form of, hey, how can we move this forward? They want to talk to you and open up and be like, how can we talk this through? Their intent, their, I'm sorry, their feelings for you is the temperance. They want to be balanced. They might take some time. The Six of Swords. Yeah, they, their feelings is they want to clear the air, rectify some things. Their feelings towards you is they want a chance with you. Even though it might be multiple people in the mix. Even though it might be just some drama or confusion. They might want to mend something with temperance and move forward from it. That's their feelings. All right. Clarify this person's feelings toward Pisces. Page of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Six of Swords. All right. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. How they feel is they feel, how they feel towards you is they don't want to give up. They want to come in and tell you what they need to tell you. Okay, this is how it is. This is what happened. This is what I feel. I want to move things forward. Now, they want to get out of conflict with you with the Six of Swords. That's how they feel. You could be dealing with the Leo. We have strength. Or a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Or a Sagittarius. What's this person's intentions with Pisces, please? six of pentacles they want they want to give to this situation the number six could be important they want to give to you they want to give to this situation what's this person's intentions toward pisces we have the king of pentacles yeah they want to build towards this a lot of money so this person could like buying you things spending money on you or you buy and spend money on them with the star. Yeah, they definitely want to spoil you and spend money on you. We have the three of swords here with the five of cups and the three of pen, uh, three of cups. So was there is there multiple people in here? Because the overall energy is the five of wands. There's too many people in the mix. You could be talking to somebody. They could be talking to somebody. Clarify the five of wands for the overall energy. Or it could just be friends and family are in the mix. People need to mind their business. You don't need to be spreading your business and getting advice from every single body. Five of wands, four of cups. So five of wands, four of cups means you have multiple options, but you're choosing one and declining the other. And somebody could have got heartbroken. And you're, and you're telling them... So this person who chose you, now they need to double back and make you feel safe and secure in knowing that 
you're the one they chose and they're not trying to cheat or anything like that i feel like that's why this person is trying to spend money on you they're trying to show you that they love you trying to show you that you're worth it yeah this person gonna have to spend money and make you feel like a star because if you was talking to multiple people or some shit like that i need to make sure that i'm the only one or i need to make sure like you're not gonna leave me hanging with suspension which is the fool yeah we have the hang the hangman which is suspension then we have the eight of pentacles and the i'm sorry we have the ace of pentacles the eight of wands and suspension so you're like, I'm not moving anything forward until I have a guarantee. And this person going to have to put a guarantee on it with the Ace of Pentacles. I got to be sure. You're going to have to put your money where your mouth is. Make sure that this offer is something that can grow and expand with the Empress here. So you could be dealing with the Libra, Aquarius. See a lot of earth here. You could be dealing with another Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or of any fixed sign. Or a Leo. Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right. The person on Pisces mind. What is their message to Pisces? They said, can I put the tip in? So they just want to put the tip in. You trying to figure out if this person is really choosing you so y'all can be in a relationship or if they're only choosing you because they just want to sleep with you. We have STD. Go get checked. So I wouldn't sleep with this person unprotected. And this person that did have options to choose from and they decided to choose you, you they might have an STD. So y'all, please be careful be very careful because i don't know where this energy is coming from yeah we have friends with benefits here so this will be the th this will this is the type of person that'll be telling you i'm not fooling with nobody right now i'm not fooling with nobody right now because when they're off of you they're on somebody else and then when they're on you they decide to be off with them but then they go back to them But for right now, this while they're on you, they are going to be on you. They are going to be trying to be with you. They are going to be trying to spend on you or give to you. Because they're on you right now. They say spit on my tip. They like when you do that or you like when they spit on your tip. Okay. Someone says, I only have sex to offer. I only have sex to offer. They like doing foreplay with you. Give me two more. I say you love this pussy. You can be dealing with an Aquarius. And they like spoon and big spoon, little spoon. They said I want to put my tongue in it. Or you like when they do that. But y'all just be careful with this person. Um, it could be two different people. One energy is somebody that's trying to... Um, it could be the same person. It could be a Gemini. But one person was a good person and they are trying to reassure you that hey they only want you but the other person the only reason why they're reassuring you that they only want you is so y'all can have sex because they're on you right now because they're taking a break from whoever they usually deal with so y'all be careful until i see y'all again check out the description box that it has all the most recent readings that i've done for y'all you can like share and subscribe i appreciate it that helps the algorithm of this video you can donate to the channel and you can book personal readings with me you can follow me on all my social media until i see you all again y'all be safe bye, -bye.